Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's March 13th. This is the BAM Weekly Municipal Market Update. I'm here with Grant Dewey, BAM's Head of Municipal Capital Markets. Grant, a uh, word like historic and unprecedented were thrown around this week talking about the municipal bond market yields backed up by a uh, really significant margin. Uh, take us through what happened. So uh, essentially it was just uh, fear, obviously it was gripping the markets this week. So we had a situation where um, you know, market liquidity dried up. There was, uh, you know, the good news is we are seeing some signs of uh, stability today, but you had a situation where um, there were uh, nervous investors um, selling risk and that translated in our, in our market to, you know, high, high yield fund redemptions uh, specifically. and. And the dealer community um, was hit very hard, so uh, liquidity was scarce, uh, selling was pretty uh, overwhelming, and it really kind of got to the point where uh, yields had to back up to where they were attractive for like the 21 percenters. Uh, I think a lot of the, the floor was hit when banks and insurance companies and some crossover buyers came in. So yeah, uh, that idea. gave the market, yeah, gave the market a little bit of a little bit of stability that we were seeing towards the end of yesterday, uh, and uh, but not before we saw a 93 basis point back up in m and Right, and in the mutual fund side of the market, Liver reported the second consecutive week of outflows after 60 consecutive weeks of inflows. Uh, this week was substantial, $1.7 billion of uh, withdrawals from municipal mutual funds, and most of that in the high-yield sector, as you mentioned. Yeah, I, you know, munis are, are uniquely a, um, a technical market, and, and uh, so I think with these with the selling pressure, uh, dealers took a step back, and and so this is what this is what we got. I do think that for our business, uh, you will see credit differentiation uh, uh, enter the equation again. I think where there was a reach for yield, there's now sort of a reach for capital preservation, and and uh, so I think ultimately, you know, it will be uh, good for our business, um, but uh, stability is good for everybody, and, and hopefully we'll see more of that next week. Right. The new issue market was very quiet this week among the, the turmoil. Uh, one large transaction was priced with BAM Insurance, I know, on Monday before the, the markets kind of uh, got uh, really uh, into the depths of the uh, illiquidity. That was the Waukee School District from Iowa, right. priced by uh, Bayer, a $49 million transaction. Looking at for next week, uh, $5.4 billion on the uh, calendar uh, market-wide. What do you see for BAM? I think, you know, um, we had yesterday there were 30 deals uh, that were put on uh, kind of day-to-day, uh, -day, week to week type status. So uh, we'll see, I think we'll see fewer uh, primary deals come to market. So that could impact uh, our volumes there a little bit, but I think conversely, we're gonna see, um, you know, a lot more secondary trading. There's a lot of repositioning going on in portfolios. Uh, you've got new buyers in the market. You, you're gonna continue to have some, uh, you know, some fall through selling. And um, so I think secondary uh, will be more active and I think probably a little bit more opportunity. Uh, we'll see more volumes in the secondary market. Right, one large transaction that remains on the calendar. It's a $55 million transaction in three tranches for the South Shore right. Metropolitan District in uh, Aurora, Colorado. Uh, DA Davidson still planning to price that next week. So uh, we'll right. see how that goes. And of course, a lot of these transactions are refunding transactions. So it's not just a question of market access. The issuers have to hit their savings goals as well. Exactly. And uh, so, yeah, and what they were, you know, their expectations even a week or two ago were, were, you know, far exceeded what they're looking at right now. So I think some of them make the prudent decision to let things stabilize. Smart. And of course, BAM is uh, fully operational. We have uh, engaged our business continuity planning for many of our employees in New York and California, where some of the coronavirus outbreaks are, are larger, but uh, the company is fully online and uh, fully responsive to any needs in the market. Yes, we are. Thank Very you, Mike. Good. Well, thanks for taking the time, Grant, and we'll uh, see you all next week. Will you get paid if an earthquake puts your municipal bond investment on shaky ground? Yes. Double A guaranteed. Is your municipal bond investment safe even if the next recession reduces public revenues? Yes, double A, guaranteed. BAM Municipal Bond Insurance protects against everything from natural disaster and recession to fraud or cyber attack. BAM.